What's up everyone, welcome to Wellington, New Zealand. If you guys haven't been keeping up to date with where we're going, we're on a six week tour and uh, we are just about to finish the North Island but we've got a few days in Wellington before we head over to the South Island. Today, we're heading to the Wetter Caves. I think it's like the top 10 most recommended studio in the world. Yeah, so it's a filmmaker studio and uh, they've done a lot of work with Lord of the Rings. Avatar. Uh, Avatar, uh, Thunderbirds. Um, Thunderbirds? Yeah, the new Thunderbirds TV show. So we see all the model works, um, special effects stuff, and all sorts of other things. Hello. So we're not actually allowed to take photos or video on the tour itself, but we can film in a little gift shop. So I guess what we'll do is we'll write this up on our blog. So if you go to jellyjourneys.com, you'll see not only the full itinerary of where we're going, but also some thoughts on this. Hey guy, mate. Still precious? That was awesome! <laughs> that was so nerdy, but really, really cool. Uh, it's such a shame we couldn't film anything in there. It, everything I just wanted to film, obviously it's all working film sets, so it would look amazing on camera. But, you can't do it, so you just have to make your way all the way down to Wellington, and uh, come see it for yourself. It is worth a visit. Yeah, definitely. definitely. If you like creative stuff, yeah. movies. It, anything. It just shows like how big of a film industry is actually in New Zealand as well. Um, everyone always obviously thinks of things like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and stuff but uh, or King Kong which are quite obviously filmed in New Zealand but seeing their portfolio of things like just off the top of my head in the last few minutes we saw Prometheus, Mad Iron Max, Man, Mad Max, District 9, Spider-Man, The Adventures of Tintin which is really random. Because um, the new Thunderbirds, uh, just so much awesome shit. <laughs> it's still morning, we've not had breakfast, so we're gonna go and get some breakfast slash lunch. It's also very windy because it's Wellington. <laughs> so we had a quick lunch at a place called Scopa, and now we're heading to Tongarua, the uh, Museum of New Zealand. Everyone at Weta Studios was recommended coming here, so it's a good job we had it booked. Uh. <laughs> Come on, team up, team up. Uh. Damn! <laughs> Could have been a champion! <laughs> I'm inside a flower. I'm an insect. So the museum is generally a collection of the history of New Zealand and uh, the combining of cultures from the Maori and the British um, when it was colonised back in the 1800s. I always struggle with the word Maori because when I was taught it at school it was always pronounced as Maori and uh, hearing everyone here they say it differently and I'm trying to get the pronunciation but I'm not 100% sure so I think it's Maori. So yeah, we saw an incredible exhibition from uh, a battle within World War One of the Anzac forces uh, with the British forces and they had some huge sculptures that were produced by Weta Studios where we were this morning. It was quite impressive but also incredibly sad. We're now heading up to Mount Victoria. Look out! That's what we're going to see, just a lot higher in a minute. Well, this is the summit of Mount Victoria, always known as Matarangi. It's welly windy here. Oh, how did you go out, focus? Come back. All right, thank you. We just come back down from Mount Victoria and uh, the lookout. I'm now walking through these pretty little gardens. Uh, so we're heading off to Oriental Bay, which is where we park car. And then we're gonna go back to the YHA and do a little bit of work this evening. Maybe go out for a drink later, not sure. Uh, because tomorrow we've got some other activities planned, including a trip to Garage Project, which is a craft brewery. And uh, gonna go taste some beers, which I am very much looking forward to. I haven't had a beer in such a long time. By the way, if you're wondering about an update on the camera situation, since the last vlog where I literally destroyed two cameras in a weekend of rain, 
uh, the XT2 and the 7D Mark II. My 7D has had a chill out and has come back to life fully. Uh, it's all working, the batteries are recognized, everything's all good. The Fujifilm X-T2 unfortunately didn't come back to life fully. It's still chilling out and resting. Uh, I've actually tested it upside down just because the only thing that's not working is the shutter. But anyway, Fujifilm New Zealand have come to the rescue and uh, they're actually sending me another X-T2 so that I can carry on taking shots whilst the other one's drying out. Um, I've got faith that, it's will, that it will come back to life and uh, will start working again. I've read up a lot about these and essentially I pushed it way too far in the rain, um, which is what I was doing anyway. I was testing it and seeing what the weather ceiling was like and I guess that's an example of what not to do. Um, but at least I'm lucky enough that they've uh, been able to send me another one, which is coming tomorrow. So I should have a Fujifilm again to carry on shooting and testing throughout New Zealand. Um, this one I'm going to keep dry. Good morning everyone, we've driven down to Zealandia, which is only a 15 minute ride from the city centre. And this is like a nature sanctuary project to try and restore this valley back to its natural wild self. Um, without any pests, any introduced mammals, anything like that. It's a 500 year project, so none of us will see it finished. It's full of nature and wildlife and native animals, native trees. And we're going to go and check it out and hopefully get some shots. Uh, I'm filming on the 70-200 again today on the A7R2 because I think there's going to be a lot of birds about. We need to get up close. And if you're wondering about the Fujifilm that arrived this morning, um, and also we have permission to fly the drone here. Um, so I'm hopefully going to get some aerial shots if it's not too windy. Wellington is notorious for the wind. And then this afternoon we're heading off to Garage Project, which is a craft beer brewery. And I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, after carrying all this equipment, it would be quite nice to sit down and have a beer. It's all a bit Jurassic Parky here. So essentially there's a pathway that takes you through all the nature and up towards a dam uh, alongside the riverside. And uh, I guess we're just bird spotting for the day. Or for the morning at least. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to, but I guess for the sake of film... Whoa! Oh my god! They are huge. But why are they enclosed? So it's actually kind of nice to have a bit of sunshine after all of our rain recently in New Zealand. Um, yeah, it's nice and bright. In 200 meters at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Upland Road. Kabla Kara. So, uh, seen as we were in the area and we had been given tickets, we just did a quick return trip on the cable car. Down to the bottom, back up to the top. Uh, it's actually more like a funicular than a cable car. I think that's the correct term for a vertical train. Um, anyway, we're going to now head on to Garage Project for some craft beers. Tommy Millions, so good. That is so awesome. David Bowie, man. Woo. So we made it into Garage Project and uh, it's about a 30 minute walk from the CBD and already I think I'm loving this place. The artwork around all the cam designs. So generally Garage Project is a collaboration between artists, good music, good food and good craft beer. Um, looking forward to tasting a lot of this. I think the best place to read up about this is going to be on our blog. We'll have some posts and more photos and everything. It's quite noisy and it is a working environment so I'm not sure how much we can film. Catching up that street art. So we finished up at Garage Project and we're now just walking back through the city. And uh, it's really good lighting, so we're checking out some of the street art. I'm going to take some photos and probably post them on Instagram, probably on the blog. This is our last night in Wellington. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be taking the ferry early morning. I'm uh, very tired from all the beers. Wellington definitely is like a little Melbourne. It's full of street art. It's so creative and it reminds me so much of Bristol back home, which is, of course, the local city that I grew up near to. I just love creative little cities. Everyone's just got a voice and they make it heard. But no one treads on anyone's toes. It's just cool little vibes. Love it round here. I'm 
Nice morning, son. Nice morning, daughter. <laughs> Heading on to the feather. <laughs> so we're now on the inter islander ferry going from Wellington to Picton. Uh, so, as the name suggests, it's a ferry that goes between the North and South Islands. And we're right now heading through the Marlborough Sound. Yep, good wine regions. Uh, yes, yeah, so the very bottom of the North Island is a great wine region, and the very north of the South Island is great. Wait, <laughs> great, great wine region. We're uh, just kind of coming in now and I'm so, so excited for the South Island again. This place is just phenomenal. Such incredible mountainous landscapes and lakes and everything. And this is just a teaser for it. Um, but what a teaser that is. Anyway, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, so obviously we've been staying at the YHA in Wellington, but if you want to see more details of our itinerary and what we've been up to, then you can check out the blog. We're going to have maps and links and this all the photos. This is the announcement. Ah. Can the film crew please make their way to the shop on the... Uh, that announcement was actually for us. We're going up to the bridge. So, hold off. Let's not end the vlog just yet. We can go up and see the captain. Okay, that announcement wasn't for us to go to the bridge. So that was to tell us we can't go to the bridge. So, cut all of that out probably. So obviously we've been staying at the YHA in Wellington, but if you want to see more details of our itinerary and what we've been up to and what you can do in Wellington, then make sure you go and check out the blog. We're going to have a full write-up and some more photos, potentially even some maps and links to everything as well. So head to jellyjourneys.com. We're going to be posting blog posts from all the places we're visiting across New Zealand um, because we want to share this incredible country with you guys so you can see all of that. So this is the South Island. So excited for this. Last time we were here, it was awesome. It's gonna be even better this time. We've got four weeks here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe for more videos and stay up to date with the future ones. So, see you later.